My name is Neville Frankel, and I am the author of Bloodlines. If I had known when I first started writing that this would take nine years, I probably would have gone golfing. I don't golf, by the way. I've persevered with this because the subject matter is very important to me on a personal level and in a larger sense. I think it's a story that has to be told. We left South Africa in 1962 when I was 14. And it wasn't until I reached my 40s and read a book called Ravonia's Children about the period just after Nelson Mandela's arrest in the early 60s and discovered that there were white middle-class families in South Africa who were putting themselves and their safety and their livelihoods at risk by helping in the anti-apartheid movement. I began to wonder what my life would have been like if I'd come from a family that was involved in that kind of activity. And the book came out of that question. Bloodlines is a story of a boy and his father who left South Africa after something terrible happens to the mother. It's a story about love lost and attempts to regain it, the impact of family secrets over time and the way they poison relationships. It's a story about how people are caught up in economic and political movements way bigger than they are, and our lives are destroyed. I think there's a huge responsibility in writing a novel like this to be accurate, not just to be factually accurate, and not just to be culturally accurate, and by that I don't mean culturally correct, but also to be emotionally accurate. So I've had to count on other people who have had those experiences to read the book and to comment on whether or not my perceptions are, are valid. The process involved three trips to South Africa, a lot of research, talking to lots of people from very different backgrounds and geographical areas in South Africa, a lot of different experiences amongst them. One of the extraordinary things about the recent history of South Africa is how they've managed to deal with their own history and with the hardships that apartheid imposed upon the people. We have triumphed in the effort to implant hope in the press of the millions of all South Africans, both black and white, will be able to walk tall without any fear in their hearts. One of the tools they used was the truth and reconciliation hearings in which people could come forward, talk about what they had done and be, and be forgiven. And that requires both the ability to forgive and it requires the recognition by the perpetrators that they've done things that were wrong. And that's sort of a metaphor for a lot of what takes place in the book. In a sense, Bloodlines is a microcosm of some of what happened in South Africa over the last 50 years.